Oh, welcome back. I'm Krista with Smoky Mountain Lash Bees, where lashes led to bees. Getting ready to go in to some of the hives. Today, I will be going into Honeycomb, Honey Cloud, Buttercup, and my overachiever, Honey Hive. Um, those are the four that I can go into today. Um, when all the swarm happened, I went into Nikki and Rosalie, and I went into Caroline. So um, next week, I will be able to go into the Split Bouquet Hive, Lily and Daisy, and see how things are. But they are still in their mite treatment. But I am happy to see the amount of bees coming and going from Daisy here because I was a little worried when I did the split but her worker force has definitely picked up post my treatment so hopefully things are good in there and Lily never had any issues she's the one that got the most um, workers off from that split because everybody went back to the original spot so that's where we're at I'm gonna get set up get things rolling so um, let's get to it all right we're gonna go into honeycomb here first honeycomb is one I'm a little worried about in the fact that I really think she was honey bound so I'm gonna have to go through and see see what's going on inside here smoker if I can keep it going. Come on. Let's propolize this lid down. And it's overcast right now, so I'm gonna be heavy smoking. If the smoker stays going. We are checking at post uh, treatment. Post treatment makes them queen right. Food stores, who needs feeding, who doesn't. Oh, all the all the things. Alright, we'll have to get one of the mite treatments off the bottom. Do you smell that? Yeah. It smells. I'm not sure what that smell. Maybe, maybe it's the goldenrod honey. I don't know. This is open for me. Propolize. Hmm. Okay. Well, if we can't get it out of here, we'll seal it up and. Try to make it so it doesn't stink on us. Well, they've got a nice home, so that's a good sign. It still looks like they're heavily over here and not so much over here, so that has me wondering if this is honey bound. Let me see something. It's heavy, but not all that heavy. And they're gonna be testy. It is cloudy out here. Nectar. Nectar. 
nectar. Some that smell that I smelt when I opened it. And that may be what the goldenrod is. I've never smelt that nectar. Nectar and nothing. I'm looking for brood. They've definitely got food stores. Yeah. Anyway. And nice honey store. So there's nothing down on the bottom right hand side. It's all polished cells. It's B red and nectar and honey. You got honey band, nectar, empty cells. Same thing. Honey, nectar, empty cells. Empty cells, nectar, and honey. Get a little worried here. Alright, now we've got some bee bread, more bee bread. And they usually store that pretty close to the to the brood. Sorry, I started looking for the queen. I don't see. No, there's no eggs in any of those cells. Definitely a more heavily covered bee wise. Empty cells. Here's some cat food. Okay, there's some larva. Okay. See what we had to see here. I want to see eggs. We got capped brood. I see white, early white larvae, which is healthy larvae. I mean, I know this time of year they slow down, but. It's a little scary when the hive looks like it's not going to have a lot of bees for winter. And they sound like a queen right hive. That mm, 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 and even with it overcast, they're not aggravated. Eggs down. I see some larvae, but I don't see any eggs. Alright, let's move to the next frame. I don't see the cool leader. This one was just honey and. This one was just honey and nectar, and there was no brood. Got brood. There's some eggs. I see eggs. But I really think this. Part of me wants to say let nature do its thing, and part of me wants to say let's intervene and move them to the center.
young, super young larva that she made in all the spring. There she is, right there over top of the honey. She's a little bitty. Can you grab my phone and get a picture for me? It's in my back pocket. She's a little queen. That almost looks like a virgin queen, don't it? <laughs> She's so tiny. For sure. Right here next to the honey. Dead center. Right there. She's got bees on top of her. Did you get her? You know what I mean? Though? She's tiny. She's gonna have a very big butt. Mm -hmm. Hey, really, I'm gonna move it so you don't yeah. just hurt her. Alright, well. How good this one's got. Has been laying, she is laying. There were eggs there. She's still a weaker up compared to some of the other hives. So we're out we got to get closed up now. Yeah, I can't even pick it up. Yeah, so they are pretty good food stores. My way, and you can try um, to get underneath it. Yeah. Which way? Tip it. So I can get. Cover for a second, can you? All right. I just want to peek in this one. Couldn't really see underneath. Yeah, might as well give them a gallon. It's over. I'm gonna start smoking them out of the. Actually, I'm gonna lay this back down. And slide it over. They have enough traffic that I'm going to give them the bigger, but it's still small. Can you bring the drill over here, please? What? Oh, it's right there. I got it. It's right here. Alright. On to... The next. 
Robbie. Hey. On to Honey Cloud. Here's my question. That one you're going to have to set up on end and then just put the, the deep over that one. But my question is, have they emptied this or have they refilled it? I would love it if they've emptied it and I could take it off. Both the mite treatments stuck to the bottom of that one. Alright. So again, I was wondering if this one was going to be the same. Because I've noticed they've been going in and out more to this side on both of these. And it looks like they're more populous right here. And not really over here. So, trash bag please. I really want to take this out of here. Mm -hmm. Instead of taking it out per se, I'm gonna do something where I can take it out come winter or come spring, because they won't have done dilly squat with it. And I'm going to put it to the outside wall because they'll use this stuff up working in mm -hmm. and going up my concern is is how heavy was that as heavy as a comb or lighter then it, they definitely need at least two gallons or more Fancy they get me, but they're better meteorologists than I am. Okay, good. What's your brood frame? Much better looking brood frame than cone head. Got pearly white, pearly, pearly white uh, larvae in it, all the way out to eggs. The eggs. I'm doing thorough because this is pretty much my last time going into this, these hives other than popping the tops to feed. And uh, issue hives. There's no real issue with it. Ooh, that's a nice sheet of brood. Honey cloud. They don't spot it. It's okay. I saw eggs, but I'm gonna try to pop through this. 15, 20 minutes. And it's supposed to start raining. Yeah. Okay. That's what it says. I mean, you don't know for a fact. Yeah. Sponsored by. Sasquatch beekeepers now a meteorologist. Pull one more frame and then I'll call it. Jack of all trades, master. Yeah, Jack of all trades, master of none. Yeah, I'd rather be a master of a couple things and not be able to do things. All right, another really good free frame. So I'm happy with them. They're not so scary as to what their population is going to do. Doing a bike. It's 
hoping to spot her. It's her eggs. That's what I was trying to. I'm pretty sure I saw eggs on that other one. Hmm. It's harder to see eggs in this lighting. Alright, well, we're going to call it on this one and close up. It's a good population. It's good population. I'm pretty sure I saw eggs. They have plenty of capped broods still. Do you want me to fill that up while it's low? Or wait till we put it you in need place? to wait until you put it so on it high splish. so you don't splash it. It needs to be in place. So no splashing. Well, I'm sad we didn't get to see the queen, but this weather is not. It's the time of the year, first day of Florida. Is it the first day? Of The buttercup, buttercup, green bottom. So I gotta see the uh, me a buttercup. Yeah, spider web. The a couple of small hive beetles, but I don't see any of their larvae. The other two, when I pulled out the trays, that you could see their larvae. So that's good. Just clean it off. Yeah. Again, screen bottom board, so I'm going to smoke, send some smoke up from the knee. Before I do anything, I am going to, that's not enough weight to matter. Mm, kind of light. Go away, gal. So let's. I actually left the bottom boards off on honey flower or honey honey type was the first one I had that was a screen bottom left it off all winter, left it off all winter. you guys think heat rises yeah. cold falls so Some people are like, oh, put the screen bottom boards back under, the boards under. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. oh, this is the last one with the queen excluder. I'm going to be taking it off. There's no way you can help keep it tilted so it doesn't reseal. Really so. You got it? As always, great population. Buttercup and honey hive. Have 
always been my good, my good gals because look, there's bees yeah. all the way across. Whereas the last two, they were more concentrated over here and not so many over here. We're adding huh? Food to this hive? Yes, we will be, but that's up. Yeah. How heavy was that? Decently heavy. I just like to feel, so I can feel the difference. Not questioning. Um, I'd say in between. What was it? Honeycomb was the really heavy one. Yeah. I think in between honey, honeycomb and honey cloud. So we've already got to a brood frame. Bam! Brood. And eggs. I see a few eggs. I see some little larvae. I want to go just a little deeper than this, though. So, a little bitty larva, some eggs. Buttercup is phenomenal, y'all. And I hear a chicken laying eggs. <laughs> You hear the chicken? I mean, second frame in. Hmm. Second frame in, and there's brood. Good or bad? Good. That means she's got this bottom still going with brood, which is how it should be. The bottom should be packed with brood, and the top should be packed with food. Mm -hmm. Brood. I don't see any eggs per se on this one. I did on the other one. Oh, there's some eggs down here in this bottom corner. I mean, she's going to be more sparse with her laying because of the time of year. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to keep looking at all this or just close it up? I'm going to close it up in just a minute. We're fighting the storm. I know. We're fighting two things. One, I want to keep looking at them. And two, the weather. Yep, another sheet of brood. So I'm just going to, while I would love to see her, I'm going to go I'll because I've got, she's got yeah. Um, what's crazy is I don't see any drone in this one, but I saw a drone in one of the nukes the other day, Tuesday when I went in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This time of year, the drones are usually pulled out and said, adios, get out of here. You're not eating our winter stores because you're no good for us. It's not the time of year to to be making queens. I think this one has a feeder in it. Didn't we put a feeder in this one? Yes, we did. One of those feeders in it. Look at this. This is the section without a queen. This yeah. is the food section. And look at the bee coverage. The sheet, buttercup, and honey are my are my big girl, my big big population hives. They're definitely the two that if I need to boost the population. I take from them, yeah. Mm. Friendly gals today. Honey, gonna be the exception, I'd say. Which one? Honey tie. Honey tide. The big one. I went from weakest to strongest, which I think I did a pretty good job at guessing or figuring out which was which. Alright. Entrance register.
that will that will help keep from robbing and all of that fun stuff. So on to the next one. I'm actually going to go ahead and start in the honey's hive because I gotta type off this top box here. Anyhow, because it's the feed the feeder. Okay, we got brood. Got just a chapped brood. Got capped brood. But nothing else. Oh my gosh, I wish you could get a picture of this. Like, the... Some of the white of all that larva, and it goes right out to the eggs. Definitely a queen for the legs. Yep. I would love to see her. Ooh, eggs, milk larva, or they're all in the royal jelly. Alright, one more frame and we'll call it done. <laughs> There's definitely signs of a queen. What one queen today? Alright, it's laid up. We've got some kind of yellow and black ones, and we got some amber and black ones in here. Nice two different mm -hmm. colors. It's really neat because what that means, what's a, what that is, is they, when they mate, Mm -hmm. They mate with multiple drones. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Nice food. <coughs> Those are just polished stuff. Ah, oh, there's some eggs. So. We're good. We're queen right. I can't tell on that mass of bees that there's a queen. They're definitely less calm than the other hives.
there we go. They're closed up, they're fed. I'm just keep watch feeding on them. I'm gonna give them a little bit to settle, I think. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get an entrance producer on there just yet. So the only other thing I'm gonna do is pick up and add food to the newts that I went into. So there we go. See y'all later.